So with this iteration of the multi-touch table, uh, we've included a compliant surface made of silicone rubber uh, in between the projection screen and the acrylic surface. Now that compliant surface has dramatically improved uh, the coupling between our fingers uh, and the surface. Uh, so you can see now that we've got a lot better response off of the, uh, the, the touches and, and a lot better resolution without changing the camera resolution. The camera resolution is still at 320 by 240 at 30 frames a second. And the reason that we've got higher resolution now, uh, where the blobs are much tighter, uh, is we've increased the, the uh, threshold of how high, you know, what, what, what was the level of, of, uh, of brightness uh, before we begin to, uh, to filter out uh, black pixels from white pixels in our binary image. So uh, what, what you're going to see here then is a much more responsive, uh, almost zero pressure uh, touches, uh, much more responsive than, uh, than the last iteration. So this is surface Simon again, and now with just the slightest touches, uh, we are able to get response. And I can still do, you know, if, if this particular application isn't, uh, uh, doesn't have any gesture information associated with it, but you can see that we can do very, very light touches. And if, there, if it did have gesture information like surface command does, we could actually do uh, very easy tracking with, with not much pressure at all. So, just to play the game again. So, that's Surface Simon, and uh, we'll release the software for the multi-touch framework soon.